Okay, so an interesting topic that I mean, I find really interesting and I don't know if other people find this interesting as well, but uh, in moments of difficulty, I um, I just, I like to think about resetting my life. So I say like, okay, this is not working in my life. I'm wasting too much time. I'm procrastinating too much. I'm not dedicating enough of my time to things that I should be dedicating my time to. And so I'll have, I'll take maybe a day or like a couple hours to just write out a bunch of things that I want to do or I just think about being extremely inspired to take things on, right? And so I just get super hyped and I get super inspired, super motivated. And then what happens is that, you know, a week goes by, not even, like I'll say three days go by. Maybe I'll have one really productive day because I'm feeding off the fire of that initial like, you know, inspiration that I, you know, that I fed myself. And then it just disappears. It's like I forget about it, you know. And so yesterday I had another one of these moments. I've been, you know, pretty stressed out. A lot of stuff to do all the time. Like I don't want to neglect my my passions, things I like to do. And so I made this list again, but this time I'm like, you know, it's never worked in the past. So I'm going to have to do something different to try and actually make this fire stick somehow. And so what I did to change it is I wrote out a bunch of, this, this is my wall right now, right? And so you'll see, this is the green, That oh, sorry, that's the green, and then that's another thing that I'll explain. Basically, this whole thing revolves around my new schedule that will take place until December 22nd because that's when I finish my internship. And so right now, as I said before in my other video that I'm juggling a lot of things right now. There's a lot of stuff on my plate. You know, obviously there's YouTube, there's um, the internship, uh, which takes up around nine hours every day. Then there's university work and then, which is exams and all that stuff. And then there's the thesis, which is also part of the uni work. And on top of that, there's college apps that I have to start thinking about to not uh, be too late because I want to do my master's preferably in 2021. Hopefully this whole situation dies down. But yeah, there's a lot. So I'm like, let's create a plan. Okay, so I made like a, you'll see a bunch of like boxes here. You see in the black, those are all little boxes that represent the day. And then in the black here, that's just my schedule. And you'll, and I got this inspiration. These are just a bunch of X's that mark the days that I've done of my internship, which sounds super bad. It's like, dude, Mick, if you write out like your X's on the, on the wall like that, you know, the time is never going to pass. It's going to feel like forever. But I see it in a different light. It actually really helps me because if I have a good day, I put the X, it's like, all right, cool. If I have a bad day, it's like no matter how bad that day is or how tough it is or how how much difficulty you had during that day, you can cross that X off and it's like you took a step forward today, man. You're closer to the finish line. So that's just the way I see it. It's like hacking on like a piece of wood. It's like it doesn't matter how much your body aches, you're still hacking, you're still hacking and like the tree's going to fall sooner or later, right? And so that's just, you know, I did that subconsciously. I'm just like, I want to fucking have a vision of where the end is. Because a lot of times, like, we'll go crazy and we'll struggle. We'll get stressed out because we lose track of what's quantifiable. We'll lose track of how long we need to suffer for. So it's like, you know, we either break down or we give up because it's like, dude, I can't like, I'm struggling. Like, why do I want to prolong this pain? So it's always good to visualize like a finish line. And so that's what I did there. And every day, every X I mark, I get closer to that goal. And that inspires me every day, right? To get that X at the end of the day. And so I'm like, how can I transfer this into, you know, not just my internship, but also like my daily life? You know, because I don't want to just be productive in my internship. 
because I also don't really have a choice, right? I can't just decide not to work and not put the X, you know, <laughs> like I have to work every day. So I'm like, why don't I apply this same concept to my, you know, daily routine? And so I needed to create some form of routine because if I have so much stuff to do, like I'm going to have to create a routine. And so my routine is the following. At 6 a.m., I want to wake up every day. And then, you know, from 6.15 to 7.15, I'll study one subject. From 7.30 to 7, uh, so from 7.30 to 8.30, I'll do my thesis. I take 15 minutes of break because like, again, I'm not a robot. I can't just like, you know, work one hour and then <clears throat> jump on another hour. Like my brain needs to breathe. As I'm sure yours, yours does as well. Um, then I start my internship. I do from nine to six. And then at the end of the day, no matter how tired I am, stressed out I am, I want to get a video out, um, which is what I'm doing right now. Cool, Mick, cool plan. But like, I've done this so many times and I haven't stuck with it. So what did I, what did I do this time to try and change it? I added those little boxes that you saw before. So I need to do this for another 37 days because that's when my internship ends. And every day I, I put a box, you know, after every day. And the idea is that if I'm able to follow that routine, I color in that box. And it's like, pat on the back, you did it. One down, 36 left to go. And so that, it's like, I set up a little game for myself, right? Because us humans are naturally like competitive. You know, if you put, you'll be surprised. Like if you put a quantifiable a measurable, a tangible, a smart goal in front of you that's possible, you, you know, you'll be surprised as to how your body and how your mind will maneuver to try and fucking tackle that, you know? Versus if you just say like, you know, I want to get an A or I want to do this. Everybody wants an A. Everybody wants a really nice job, a really nice relationship. But it's like if you quantify it, you know, and set a realistic, you know, almost tangible goal, right? To sort of, you know, ignite that fire within you, you'll do it. And and you need to find what it is that ignites you, right? And so for me, I love posting these videos, right? So this is sort of my reward. I don't see this as like a burden. I don't see this as like a, you know, a sacrifice that I'm making. I see this as fun. Like, and we're in quarantine right now, so it's like it's not it's not like I have an excuse to go outside or do it. I'm in my room, so this this is my fun. I also like do a bunch of other things in my spare time. I don't just do <laughs> I, I'm, I don't just talk to myself. But um, you know, that that square, like creating those squares and ticking things off, it's like to me that's cool and like it pushes me. So that's what I'm doing. Now, this is the first day that I'm doing this, but you know, we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes. Obviously, I'm going to keep you guys updated and obviously like when you start a new journey like this, you're obviously going to be really hyped and really energetic, but then what happens is that things won't go to plan, like you'll be just you'll just have an off day one day and it might be hard to stick to it, and so I'll definitely be sharing all of that with you guys. And then the green that you saw before, those are just some like quotes that like touched me, you know, quotes that, you know, I read and I'm like, yeah, like they remind me of why it is that I created this plan in this in the first place and why it is that I'm trying to do what I'm doing. Like, why am I setting this very like demanding work schedule, you know, like why, why is it that I'm doing all this? So in the times where I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what am I doing? Like, why is this happening to me? Like, why am I so stressed out? Why is life so hard? Like, this sucks. Like, I'll just take a look at those things that I wrote when I felt really inspired. And like, I'll be reminded because that's just the type of guy I am, right? Like, sometimes I just need to be reminded what I'm doing and like why I'm doing it. And like, Sometimes it can be difficult for other people to see that and other people to, you know, encourage you. So sometimes it's good to create an environment for yourself that's naturally supportive. And this is a way for me to support myself. 
you know and it also like you know like i'll read you i'll read you you want me to actually no maybe i'll make another video if you guys want me to read you the quotes that i wrote you know let me know i can make a video about it it'll be like three minutes long of me just reading it out but you know if you have a good why like a good reason that justifies why you're doing what you're doing like the how almost becomes useless it it almost becomes like non-existent right because you'll have that fire the why that will like literally take you over any difficulty so that is basically what i'm doing to try and keep me more you know present in the moment i want to kill this month of november like with the uploads but everything you know my life is all over the place right now not all over the place in the sense that i have a lot going on right now but i also don't want to take this i like for once i actually want to stand up to this you know and like actually you know truly see where i can go from here instead of just throwing in the towel because it's easy to throw in the towel right like it's easy to just say like dude i have so much going on i can't take it like i work so much i have uni i have so much going on it's easy to just give up because at the end like if you give up you know you're not wrong right because sometimes you really just you know you could have too much on your plate but at the same time it's like i think you know by giving up you just you also give up on your own growth right because you grow through those tough times those times where you're like dude i can't take this anymore like i feel like i'm backed up against the wall and i just i just i like i don't want to go forward anymore i just want to like crawl down and just like you know into a ball and just disappear but like if you're able in that time to try as hard as it is to just like stand up for yourself and like fucking you know take that step forward mark that x you know then that's where growth really like begins to settle into your life and you you learn more about yourself too so again that's just like an update on my part of what i'm doing to stay on track but hopefully like you know hearing this story could have you know given you a bit a bit of perspective right because at the end of the day we're, like we're all struggling right like we're all going through a tough time a challenging period whether it's university whether it's thesis whether it's work like and i'm speaking as a 21 year old i don't really i don't know what real struggle is like i've never been homeless i've never you know i've never had to skip meals or like eat out of trash cans or like sleep outside like stuff like that right so i i really don't know what struggle is so that's another sense of reasoning that i try to keep at the back of my mind like dude you're struggling like it's tough you're challenging yourself but at the same time you don't know what real struggle is you know and you won't know what real struggle is until you get there you know so Again, that's just like a, a little message that I want to I wanted to give you guys, but also for myself. And uh, I hope you know you you can resonate with it somehow. I'm gonna be posting more videos, uh, you know, a bit more chill. Like I'll stick away from the UFC for now because uh, it just takes a lot of planning, and I just I really don't have that kind of time. What I have time for is just speaking from the heart, like unscripted, just describing my situation right now to hopefully you know help myself through the self-expression but also potentially help you guys um to give you guys another perspective you know and so yeah if you like this type of stuff why not subscribe if if you don't like it if you get bored if you like you know don't like it you can unsubscribe like it's your choice right it doesn't matter but yeah look out for uh videos to come i'm going to be posting more consistently And uh, if you do subscribe and I see you guys in the next one, then I'll see you guys in the next one.